Hello all, I'm Nate and welcome to Vintage Rails. Today's video is on the history of the Los Angeles and Redondo Railway and the southeastern lines of the Pacific Electric Railway. In 1887, the Rosecrans Rapid Transit Railway opened a line on Vermont Avenue about six miles long. The line closed only about a year after being opened due to the collapse of the land boom. The Rosecrans Railway operated at a gauge of 3 foot 6 inch and had a single four-wheel steam dummy locomotive. In 1889, the Redondo Railway was formed and purchased the Rosecrans Railway's route. It extended southward toward Gardena, then southwest to Redondo Beach, which was a growing city at the time. In 1896, the Redondo Railway was renamed the Los Angeles and Redondo Railway. The original route of 1889 was electrified in 1902. It also was double-tracked and rebuilt from a gauge of 3 feet to 3 foot 6 inch gauge to be compatible with the Los Angeles Railway's gauge. A new line through Inglewood and Hawthorne was also constructed, which was named the Inglewood Division, while the original route was called the Gardena Division. After 1902, one steam locomotive was retained for some work use and service. A new shops was also constructed in 1902, replacing the old steam shops, in which all electric cars for the Los Angeles and Redondo were constructed. Another route was constructed in 1907 along Moneta Avenue. The Los Angeles and Redondo Railway had strong numbers of both freight and passenger revenues. In 1903, a new line opened on Vermont and Normandy Avenues, which went right through Gardena. This line was the California Pacific Railway, which was a subsidiary of the Los Angeles Interurban Railway. The line was constructed between downtown Los Angeles and downtown San Pedro. The Los Angeles and Redondo and the Los Angeles Interurban, along with other companies, were merged to form a new Pacific Electric Railway in 1911. The Los Angeles and Redondo and the Los Angeles Interurban were split at about 116th Street. All lines north of this street were given to the Los Angeles Railway, while all lines south were given to Pacific Electric. All of the newly acquired cars were promptly painted and renumbered into the Pacific Electric system. The conversion to standard gauge was completed by the end of 1912. This meant, between 1911 and the end of 1912, some cars operated as narrow gauge, however, wore the paint of Pacific Electric. In 1912, a loop line was built through Torrance, and in 1914, other trackage was built for serving industries in the growing city of Torrance. Tracks were constructed around the city, including a new bridge over Torrance Boulevard. The lines of the Los Angeles and Redondo and Los Angeles Interurban became the Redondo via Gardena line, San Pedro via Torrance line, and the Hawthorne El Nido shuttle. The Redondo and San Pedro routes used 800 class and later 1,000 class cars of the Pacific Electric. Both were heavier interurban type cars, while the shuttle used car number 408 exclusively. In 1918, the Torrance shops opened for maintaining all equipment by Pacific Electric. In the 1920s, freight on the Redondo line died off, while the growing city of Torrance had many industries which provided a lot of revenue for the Pacific Electric. In 1921, the Redondo car house was destroyed and many cars stored there at the time were burned and was declared a total loss. As passenger traffic dwindled, freight remained strong. The shuttle service between El Nido and Hawthorne ended in 1933 and the line was promptly abandoned. In 1940, regular passenger service ended to Redondo Beach and Torrance. The Redondo line was removed west of Gramercy Place, and the Cabrillo tracks in Torrance were removed as well. 
During World War II, freight traffic was at an all-time high with industries in Torrance, including various metal foundries, which were very important to the war effort. In the post-war era, freight was strong, but passenger traffic continued to decline on the whole system. In 1953, passenger service was taken over by the Los Angeles Metropolitan Transit Authority, and the Torrance shops were closed a few years later in 1955. Electric locomotives for freight were last used in 1956 or so, and diesels took over freight, all loaned from the parent company, Southern Pacific. There were some diesels that Pacific Electric owned. In 1965, all Pacific Electric operations were taken over by Southern Pacific. The 1970s saw a decline of freight, which meant many segments of the Torrance branch were abandoned. The mainstay of power during this time were the Southern Pacific's SW1500 switchers. In 1990, the last abandonment occurred with the Border Avenue and Plaza de Lamo tracks removed in Torrance. In 1996, Southern Pacific was merged into Union Pacific. Since then, Union Pacific has used second-generation EMD GP road switchers, and for a time they even used genset switchers. Now let's take a look at what the Torrance Industrial Lead looks like today. This is El Segundo Boulevard in Athens Way. This is about the location where a pretty nasty accident happened with Pacific Electric 4601 and a steeple cab motor. Now this place is a little bit complex. So the original line here was built in 1889 by the Redondo Railway, which then became Los Angeles and Redondo which electrified in 1902. That is the median down Vermont was that route. Then this line, which came off right about here and down in that direction, was built in 1907. However, there was also a third track, the California Pacific Line. It was right next to the Redondo Line on this side of the median, the one that I'm on. The other side of the median was the Los Angeles and Redondo tracks. Okay, now this is an interesting intersection here. So, the two lines, the California Pacific and the Redondo Railway, came from this direction and split off. The California Pacific went down Gardena Boulevard while the Redondo line continued on its own right-of-way. This is Hermosa Junction. So the tracks that were originally on 166 for the Redondo Railway were moved over here. And when the intersection was abandoned, the line curved around down to the side of Normandy here. And then this line was a later realignment of the Los Angeles and Redondo, or the Redondo Via Gardena line. It is still used for the Crenshaw Lumber Company. I'm gonna do my best with the road traffic here. So, this location is called Delonco Junction. This is where Jones Chemical Company is. In fact, it's right there. So, Delonco Junction is where the uh, Torrance Loop split off of the main line at Normandy. And now we are in the city of Torrance proper. So, the Tracks for the line go underneath the uh, Torrance Pacific Electric Bridge. Now, the Pacific Electric used to have double track here, one going through each of the middle portals, and then they had a junction, which I'll show you in a minute, that went over top of the bridge here to serve Columbia Steel Mill. The bridge was last used in the 1970s, and the tracks are actually still in place above the bridge. Another very notable feature of Torrance regarding railways is the Depot Restaurant. 
Now, this is the old Pacific Electric, later Southern Pacific Passenger Depot. There were two tracks that split off behind the depot, as well as a few spurs and other stuff for freight loading and unloading. One track is here, there's a railroad crossing, and it goes right about there, along the side of Torrance Boulevard. And then another track went down to the south for Border Avenue. And then this little street here is Border Avenue. There used to be tracks down there. And then further down in that direction on Border, there was a bit of a switchback operation. It went down Border, then back up behind all these buildings over to the Torrance Bridge, which is right about behind the depot and the buildings here, to serve Columbia Steel. Now I am down at the end of Sartori on, well, at Dominguez Street here. So here's the tracks from downtown Torrance, which is that direction. And you can see some cars for United States Gypsum. Now, everything that you're see seeing here, this side of the tracks, used to be the Torrance shops of the Pacific Electric. Everything here all the way to Delamo Boulevard to the north and on Crenshaw to the west. Now I am at another railway junction. This place was called Ocean Avenue. This is actually at 228th Street, Normandy. So, the, the main line is right about where I'm standing, or used to be, and then the tracks from Torrance downtown came from that direction and headed south that way. Now I am down by Gappy Street and Westmont Drive here. This is Westmont Drive over here and where those tank cars is the end of the old Torrance line. And this is a realignment of the old Redondo via Gardena line. It used to be on 166th Street, which is the street over there. And I'm at Hobart Crossing. Now, a number of years ago, they used to still have wigwags here, which I remember. And I think I have a photo of one of those, but we'll see. Or even a video. Now, this location is where the Inglewood division of the Los Angeles and Redondo and the Gardena division of the LANR met. They, the tracks converged somewhere between here and the apartments over there. And this place was originally called Belvedere. In fact, those apartments over there is right about where the Belvedere substation was and those apartments are named Belvedere. Now this innocuous looking shopping center on PCH, that's the road over there, is the location of the old Redondo car house and shops of the Los Angeles and Redondo and later Pacific Electric. The building was constructed in about 1902 to 1903. It burned to the ground in 1921, taking many pieces of equipment that were owned by Pacific Electric with it. Now, right here is Veterans Park, which is where the old Hotel Redondo was. And there's the ocean out in that direction. The Elks Lodge, the original one for Redondo Beach was the former station for both Pacific Electric and earlier the Los Angeles and Redondo Railway. That building was demolished and now it is a new Elks Lodge. 
Now I am down by Torrance Beach at Vista Del Mar and Catalina. Now this is approximately where the Redondo via Gardena line ended. At the time this area was called Clifton by the Sea.